Well, hey there, guys. It's your favorite backyard geographer. I was out in the garage going through my junk, and I thought of you. You know, the United States has a tremendous history in toy making. In fact, one of my favorite would be the Ohio Art Company starting in 1908. And they were known for creating some of the original tin toys that are very collectible today. Uh, they first got their start off with sand pails and stuff like that, but they were also one of the first companies to have a licensing contract with the Disney Company. Well, we're awesome, but a little known company out in England was doing the same thing. So I'm excited to share with you today a very rare original England Cinderella tea set. So with collecting anything, especially toys, the main thing is the box. Because that's, you know, rarely you find the original box because toys were made to play with. And so the box is the first thing that you throw out. So this makes, you know, this makes us very unique in the fact that I have the original box. Everything is complete and it's from England. So as I mentioned before, this is Walt Disney Cinderella, the toy tea set. This is, was created by the Happy Dack Company out of England. And what's interesting about them is that they got their, their true start as a company making sand pails, uh, you know, little metal uh, pails that you take to the beach. You know, today we, they're made out of plastic to make your sand castle. But a lot of these tin companies, that's where they got their start. Same thing with the one in the United States in Ohio, which is kind of interesting. But like I said, this is a complete set. Uh, it probably has never been used. So as you can see, you've got your little tray, your cup, your saucers. And then I love that it even has your little aluminum spoons for when you're mixing your, you know, your one or two cubes of sugar, maybe probably not one or two of those little cups of yellow sugar. <laughs> but anyway, nonetheless, you know, when it comes to collecting, like I said, it's just so exciting when you can find these pieces of history. But when you find this piece of history with the original box, and then when you take it into consideration that this isn't even from this country, so this had to travel, you know, across the great pond Two here, and they were still able to keep everything together, um, is really, really remarkable. One lump or two. Cheers. Mm. Do you have any cucumber sandwiches and crumpets? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll look, okay, now since I've cut it out of the set, I'll put the spoon down. I mean, you got, you've got the little aluminum handle. Look at the bottom. It's got the little glass slipper on the bottom. I mean, what incredible detail, you know, within this. Very cute. Maybe you grew up with a tea set like this, one of these vintage tin tea sets. Maybe you remember the sand pails, um, or maybe you, you even had this one. Be sure to like, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, cheers. <laughs> toy set, uh, the toy set, <laughs> tea set. Start over again, no old as, oh shit. <laughs> it's nappy sack and it's not. Happy knack. Happy knack, happy knack. Okay, uh, happy knack, sorry, it's because we spent so time, like, Happy neck. Happy neck.